name is James Ramos with Ramos Design Build. I'm here at 2904 West Bayshore Court, two homes off of beautiful Bayshore Boulevard. I'm here at a mid-century modern that we have actually gutted a few months ago and over the course of time we've put back together to its original perfection. We'd love it for you to come inside and we'll show you all the great things that we did. Come on, let's take a look. The Bayshore Court home was purchased 90 days ago and underwent an extensive renovation. As you can see by the pre-construction photos, the home had the bones of a great home, but needed quite a bit of updating. To start, let's review many of the positives. Although it needed a major restoration, the home located at 2904 West Bayshore Court is situated only two sites from famous Bayshore Boulevard. The shell of this mid-century modern was made of concrete block. Soffits were over 24 inches, keeping to the design attributes one would expect in a mid-century home. And the layout, while having great potential, could be easily opened from the current closed up footprint that was done over the recent years detracting from the mid-century type look. After extensive consultation with home designer Mike Roth and our design team from District Designs, made up of Jill Lipsy and Corey Hill, Ramos set out to perform the restoration. Starting with the shell of the home, the roof was replaced, hurricane rated low E glass casement windows were purchased and installed, and the home was completely restuccoed over to provide a flatter, smooth-like look, allowing for the design to stand out. Lastly, the single concrete drive was removed and replaced with a paved circular drive. This feature allows for a state home feel while keeping to the lower square feet you would find in a mid-century layout. Inside, major renovations took place. At first, the demolition was quite extensive, removing walls, cabinetry, appliances, plumbing fixtures, also doors, window casings, and the layers of tile from previous renovations. Outside, the pool cabana house was completely restored, with a new floor tile, added a shower, and a full bath, making the home a four-bedroom, three-and-a-half bath home. Some of the key brands used are the following. Lighting in the Master Pool and Powder Baths, Kohler Purist, and Kishler Sconces. Plumbing fixtures in the kitchen was a vault-like large undermount sink, Kohler sink faucet with sprayer, and sinkerator, eye compact garage disposal with sink top air switch. In the guest and master bath, pool house bathroom, and the powder bath, all top of the line Kohler vanity sink, sink faucets, shower heads, and diverters. Appliances in the kitchen, 46 bottle dual temperature zone built in water cooler with argon filled double pane glass, GE profile series appliances, gas cooktop, built in dishwasher, double electric wall oven, monogram built in, bottom freezer refrigerator, and monogram microwave drawer. In the laundry closet, we added an Electrolux wave touch washer and dryer. The cabinetry consisted of Bremtown custom cabinetry. In the kitchen, guest bathroom, master bathroom, pool house bath. All hardware was provided by Jeffrey Alexander. The countertops consisted of Caesar stone, organic white, and eggshell quartz colors. The flooring tile in the home was Happy Floors porcelain tile. Also, large parts of the home had the original terrazzo floors, which we polished and looks great. The exterior awnings were covered by Sunbrella exterior material. It was a new firewood set, smooth stucco throughout the exterior and on the back pool wall. The roof was replaced with a five-year warranty, and we expanded the paved circular drive. A new pool screen and gates, and the garage door was by Banco with hurricane-rated glass. Hey, well, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Hope you loved it. Take care.